Hello everybody, Ace here with another video, and today I have some news for you all. So, this is not your normal video, because if you are seeing this, as the title reads, I am leaving, but not YouTube. Rather, I'm leaving my job, my real life job. Yes, people of IHOP, if you are listening, this is for you. So, you guys know that you basically helped me kickstart the first five and a half years of my working life. My adult life, I should say. And a lot of you there have taught me a lot of different things. How to be a lot of different things. Do a lot of different things. Who to trust. Who I can't trust. You guys have taught me a lot. But. As time tells. It's time for me to move on. I want you all to know. You all meant so. So much to me. Made so many friends there. I've had so many good times that you never would expect to have while working there. It's one of those kind of places that you just, you kind of made another family. Because we all stuck together like a family. <clears throat> so, for those that are somehow seeing this and it's not privated and it's public you can ignore this or you can listen a little bit to get an understanding of what my work life was like just know this is not going to be a normal video there's going to be no editing to it this this live footage is all you're getting so if you hear things in the background or hearing coughing or whatever, just ignore it. But just know, people of IHOP, this is for you. And it is a wholesome thing I want to let you all know. So, guys, gals, everybody, I just... <clears throat> it's in my deepest interest to let you know that I definitely cared so much about you all. Now, I'm not... You know, leaving for good. Potentially, me and Sarah, you know, yes. A lot of you know how I'm in a deep relationship and a, a good relationship at that. And how me and my woman are like, like that, you know. And, alright, so, you know, you also know how I'm planning to move to Scotland. That will be somewhere in the future, but. Before then, she wants to visit America with me and see some things. And we've talked a little bit about the possibility of surprising you all. So you might want to look at that in the future. Get, get her to meet my IHOP family. <laughs> you bunch of crazy bastards. <laughs> but, yeah, I just, I wanted to make this brief video just to, you know, talk about, like, you know, I think, honestly, working world in general, let alone the working world of IHOP, where everything is, like, crazy and everything's pretty much advertised around kids, <laughs> and the parents that want to get rid of their kids temporarily. <laughs> that was a joke. Of course, that was a joke. All jokes aside... Yeah, I I am I am going to miss you all. I did have a lot of fun while I was there, you know. But you're not you're not going to be seeing me with any messages in the crew app, you know. Old boss Christina she might get to see you know my name still in in the chat, in the group, because not for the reason of, oh, yeah, I was too lazy to take it out, but for, like, you know, maybe, maybe memory's sake. 
you know. I want to... I just, I just want my memory to be, you know, lasting around there. I want everybody's, everybody says, uh, pardon that. Everybody says how much they're going to miss me when, you know, I'm away from there and all that. And I just want to let you all know how I will miss you still because of all the memories, you know, primarily, no, nothing against you, the rest of you, but primarily everybody pre-COVID. The crew I had was insane. The connection I had with everybody there was insane. But I still got the opportunity to make some really good friends and have some great, great connections with everybody else. And you all you all rock. So Just letting you all know, like, through the good times and bad times, we may have all had our bad times, and we got through it. No matter what happened, we got through it. And we always argued like a big fucked up family. <laughs> I wanted to put it like, like, some of you know how I would always put it like that. We're, we're just one big fucked up family, <laughs> to, to say the least. So... Yeah, just wanted to let you all know that really quick. Sorry again for all the noise upstairs. I I can't control it. I I just wanted to take the time while it was on my mind and fresh, and I had all my words in order and and such like that. I just wanted to let you all know. I wanted to let you guys know how you will not be forgotten. It's one of those things where. I'm gone, not like, you know, not like that, not, not dead, <laughs> no, gone, but not forgotten, and I wanted to make that clear, I wanted to make it known that even though to some it may not seem like that, but to me personally, I, over time, built myself a legacy, and I want that legacy to be not only known, but, <clears throat> pardon me, not only known, but remembered. Right. Some of you know, because I've told you, just how much I've learned from some of you there. How much some of you have taught me. How much people in the past have taught me. There's, there's definitely been quite a bit there that has been proof that you all just mean so much to me and you all definitely had a big big impact in my life I mean I, I gotta give a shout out to my homegirl Alicia right away she I, I honestly believe she was one of the ones that helped me come out of my bubble my bubble that I thought I was forever going to be stuck in. <laughs> true, true facts, true facts. I thought my little bubble that I came in there with, I was going to be stuck in forever. And I know a lot of you have been noticing how many dirty jokes I crack and all that. I wasn't always like that. I used to be quiet as fuck before. <laughs> I used to be one of the most, I probably actually one of the most quiet people there to be honest with you. But still actually one of the most anxious because, you know, again, first job starting out, I broke one class and I like basically cried over. I'm like, oh my God, I'm going to get fired. But no, I have learned so much about the working world being there. Not just about experience, like, you know, the food industry and how it is, but just about personal connections you can have with. Your coworkers in general, just everything of that nature. And I wanted to take one last thank you, just to, you know, thank you all for that. Showing me that even though I'm like entire towns away from Haddon Heights High School, <laughs> and, you know, I've dropped all those friends since like I had to you know I, I don't have many close connections anymore I don't 
Y'all took this outcast and gave him somewhere to temporarily belong until he can find himself. And that's that's something I can always think. You know how I always say like, oh yeah, I'm I'm this big lone wolf. And it's it's true. But honestly, I needed to be surrounded with the right people. And of course, most of that time I was single and all, so I never had anyone to really like care for or gain influence to. And some of you definitely helped me through that. Gave me some life lessons here and there. Taught me how to say, like, oh, yeah. You just do what you gotta do and say fuck it or whatever. <laughs> just all of that. It's just, yeah, good times. Nothing, nothing but good times. A lot of people complain about the jobs, but... You know, despite how many jobs people would argue back and forth that I actually had there... Every single one was nice. Every one. You know, all those times I didn't mind helping out the servers. Because they were struggling with their tables. Yeah, I, I could have just stuck to busing, but like... But the cooks running on empty with stuff. But they can't move from the line. It felt good to get their supplies and keep them running. And with the servers, like, making coffee ever so often, or getting them butter because they were too short, or creamers because they were too short, or milk because they were too short, or they just didn't have time to get it. Like, or definitely not going to forget all the times that I had to, you know, stick with my busters and make a plan to, you know, survive the onslaught of the day to come. <laughs> Or how much I felt free while putting up the truck. Because I was just there with my music. and Yes, admittedly, there, there with my music, just blasted it and basically doing some weightlifting. <laughs> and that was another thing. You know, I really appreciate how much I've physically changed because of this job. You know, because I always pushed myself so much and there was a lot of physical labor to do, you know, cardio or otherwise, it it was a good mix and I've definitely bulked up since. I, I used to be like, my entire, my entire arm just looked like this. <laughs> but now it's like, like, I don't, I don't mean to flex on you literally, but like, come on, I've. I've definitely massively improved since. And I'm, I wasn't even flexing. <clears throat> but. <sighs> There's just a lot. Of influence and change. Within me and with out of me. That. I feel like a lot of people will never get to truly experience. Except for. Of course, except for my girlfriend, because I tell her, like, everything. <laughs> Even things I'm not genuine about. <sighs> Guess through all these words, I'm just trying to say... Thank you. Thank you, and I wish you all well. And I hope our paths cross somewhere in the future. Because as as much as I always talk to my talk and say, oh yeah, I'll never come back to this place, damn this place to hell, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> said some things while I was aggravated. As much as I said all that. I'm not going to lie, I'm going to miss the place. I think it's just that connection of, you know, it was my first job and I couldn't believe it myself that I kept the job for five and a half years and only reason I didn't last longer than that was because I'm leaving voluntarily. <laughs> it's that part of me that never believed I could do anything. Never would amount to shit. Never would be looked at as anything more than 
just that guy that's just always emotional or can't necessarily handle his own or anything. I like that it's changed from that. I like that I've grown from that. How well, some of you even remember when I first came in that place, I would have never thought of even doing this, but... I mean, honestly, thanks to Sarah, my expression has come out, way out. And, you know, a lot of you, especially at the last Christmas party and through Halloween, you know, talking about Christmas party and Halloween party of, like, well, not party, but, you know, Halloween of 2022. You all saw how expressive I was ready to be and you know I want to be remembered for that I want that to be my legacy it it feels like such an honor the fact that I was able to even express myself even slightly there you know just just enough where I made everybody's day whenever it was going bad or it was starting to go bad, or they, you know, had something bad in their lives. And that's that's another thing. Like, I liked that a lot of you trusted me with your information of, like, you know, what's going on in your life, and, like, just basically letting me not only be your paramedic, but your therapist as well. Like, I liked, I liked the amount of trust and respect I had in the place. And... Once again, before this video gets too long, I just, I guess I'm amounting it too. Thank you, and hope you cross paths in the future. You know, all, all my social media links will be in my channel description, and, well, maybe not description, but on my channel wall, and all that good stuff to those that don't already have it. And of course there's people there that have my number already. And you know, just, just if you, if you wanted to stay in touch with me, like don't expect me to call or anything because I don't, I don't call anybody. I don't even call my own aunt, <laughs> but if you ever like, you know, needed something I, and I, I could manage to take time out of my day for it. I, I'd be happy. I'd be happy to. Because as much as I say I despised some people there, I really, in actuality, had no beef with anybody. Except maybe one person. We, we all know who we're talking about here. There's that one person that everybody despised. <laughs> no, but don't go pointing fingers at anybody seeing this, you know. But, yeah, that's, that's just about it. Once again, wanted to say for, for like, what, third or fourth, maybe fifth time now, thank you. Hope your days are blessed. Hope your life is blessed. Hope you all are faring well without me. <laughs> and... See you around. And to the rest of you, my fans, stay in the airlines, junior pilots.